15 Things You Should Never Do in Guatemala Guatemala is the most populated country in Central America with around 16.6 million people. Tourism is one of the main drivers of the economy. Guatemala averages around 2 million tourists annually. There are so many things for tourists to see, particularly the ancient Mayan sites, preserved Spanish colonial buildings in Antigua, and Lake Atatlan, formed in a massive volcanic crater surrounded by coffee fields. However, tourists should be aware that there are some things that should not be done in Guatemala. Number 1. Never visit Guatemala without doing your research first. Researching about a nation, its culture and traditions, and people is important to make your visit worthwhile and without problems. Guatemala is home to ethnic Mayan descendants. These people have certain beliefs and traditions that most Westerners will not know. To avoid insulting them, research and learn to avoid problems. Number 2. Never forget to check your stuff for bugs. Guatemala has several varieties of creepy crawlers. Some most of us have never seen. The more notorious are the spiders and scorpions. While they may not be deadly, their toxins can cause pain and a lot of discomfort. So always check your belongings, especially the insides of your shoes. You don't want to slip them on and realize your foot is not alone. Just tap on them, and shake them to make sure anything that crawled inside will come out. Number 3, don't be surprised by the pollution in Guatemala. Air pollution is bad in Guatemala. It can cause breathing problems because air quality is low. Those with breathing issues will be at risk visiting this country. You can easily develop a cough because of the smog. Symptoms to watch out for are itchy eyes, nose and throat, wheezing and coughing, as well as shortness of breath. If you have asthma, always have your inhaler with you, as well as your medication. Number 4, don't think you can fight off a mugger. Muggers and other criminals roam the cities, especially in the capital city of Guatemala City. Never venture out at night if possible. If you do, stay in brightly lit places with lots of people. Most of these muggers will not hesitate to kill you for your wallet or watch. T so unless you are Jackie Chan, stay safe and let them take what they want. That is why you should never bring all your cash and credit cards with you. Number 5, don't forget to hydrate regularly. Guatemala can be hot and humid, during the drier months. This is a place where you can expect doing a lot of walking. Visiting ancient Mayan ruins, trekking up volcanoes, or strolling by the beaches are just some of the walking activities you will enjoy. But always keep bottled water handy. You will surely need it. Number 6, never bring your passport around. Unless you plan to cross borders that is. But in and around Guatemala, you don't have to bring your valuable document around with you. Leave it at your hotel safe. Just bring photocopies in case you are asked for identification, or for emergency purposes. You don't want to lose your passport or have it stolen. Number 7, don't go near the Chishikast. Some tourists who were unaware realized their mistake too late. Chishikast is a prickly plant found all over, particularly in a town near Antigua called Chichicastenango. The plant is very similar to poison ivy, which have hairs on its stems that will stick to your skin. When the hairs break off they release a toxin which causes a stinging and burning sensation. This could be quite painful. Especially for those with allergies or have hypersensitive reactions. Better know your surroundings when you are in unfamiliar territory. Number 8. Never forget to bargain. Guatemala has many markets and street stalls with various items for sale. Haggling is part of the custom, and will serve you well? Some stores will actually try to get the most from tourists by quoting a higher price. 
never accept the first price offered to you. Try haggling for 50% of the price, until you both come to an accepted price. Even if there is a price tag, you can always bargain. It is actually expected. Just remember to always be polite and courteous. Number 9, Never Swim in Rivers and Lakes They may look calm and serene, as well as enticing to take a dip in. But looks can be deceiving. Don't get tempted to swim in them, you may pay dearly for it. While they look peaceful, they can be turbulent and deadly. Most of them have strong undertow currents that can drown even an Olympic swimmer. Your chances are very slim, so don't risk it. Enjoy the view safely from the shore. Or you may opt to go boating, there are locals who can take you for a ride. It won't cost much, Guatemala is a relatively cheap place to visit. Number 10, don't visit during the rainy season. When it rains, it pours in Guatemala. If you visit during the rainy season, chances are you won't be able to do much, sightseeing or just walking around. Guatemala is known to have floods and mudslides when it pours. Number 11, never go near demonstrations. Knowing Guatemala's history of conflict will help you understand the country and its people better. At times demonstrations will be seen in some parts of the city. Try not to go near, it could be unsafe. Even if you are tempted to take photos of the protest, don't go near. Violence can break out any time. And you may also be targeted as a foreigner too curious for their own good. Similarly, you could also get arrested. It has happened to several curious tourists. Number 12, never go outdoors without insect repellent. Most tropical countries always have pesky insects, particularly mosquitoes. Unaware tourists suffer the irritation of several bites. But that is the least of your problems. Mosquitoes can carry deadly viruses like dengue, malaria, etc. Insect repellent becomes a must-bring outdoors. Whether it is by the beach, or visiting ancient Mayan sites, always be prepared. Number 13, don't expect great coffee everywhere. Guatemala is also known for great coffee, just like Colombia. But similarly, most of the well-known coffee is exported abroad. Most locals in the cities drink instant coffee. However, there are some places you can enjoy great coffee. These are the Gume coffee houses located in tourist areas. Antigua has several, just ask around. But be prepared to pay a steep price for your coffee. Worth the experience though. You can also buy coffee beans in the coffee fields to take home. Number 14, do not wear sandals when visiting ancient Mayan ruins. This is basically a safety tip. When you visit ancient Mayan sites, remember that these are old places. The ground is rough and at times, slippery. Using proper footwear is essential. Particularly if you plan to climb to the top of Tikal, the most popular Mayan pyramid ruins. The stairs are rugged, uneven, and at times unstable. It's no joke if you take a tumble. Climbing with sandals or flip-flops are a no-no. Have some common sense and wear the appropriate footwear. Number 15, never photograph locals without first asking permission. In most places this should be a rule. Common courtesy dictates that you don't invade the privacy of another. In Guatemala, it could also prove to be dangerous. There is an old belief that having your photo taken without your consent means that the photographer is taking your soul. Superstitions are taken very seriously. Another thing, there are rumors in Mayan communities that foreigners intend to steal their children and sell them abroad. A Japanese tourist was killed by a village mob, after taking pictures of indigenous women, and their children in a market. Thanks for watching.
Make sure to subscribe to this channel.